Now, all of this is to say Donald Trump has a different approach. He makes big promises, and he always fails to deliver. So remember, he said he was the only one. You know how he talks. He, the only one who could bring back America's manufacturing jobs. Then America lost almost 200,000 manufacturing jobs when he was president. Facts including tens of thousands of jobs right here in Michigan. And those losses started before the pandemic, making Donald Trump one of the biggest losers yeah. of manufacturing jobs in American history. And his track record for the auto industry was a disaster. He promised workers in Warren that the auto industry would, and I'm going to quote, not lose one plant during his presidency. Those were his words, not one plant. Then American automakers announced the closure of six auto plants when he was president, including General Motors in Warren and Stellantis in Detroit. Thousands of Michigan auto workers lost their jobs. And Donald Trump's running mate recently suggested that if they win, they would threaten the Grand River assembly plant in Lansing, okay? The same plant our administration protected earlier this year, saving 650 union jobs. 650 union jobs. His running mate called those table scraps. So we fought hard for those jobs, and we believe that you deserve a president who will protect them and not insult them. And make no mistake, Donald Trump is no friend of labor. Let's be really clear about that, no matter what the noise is out there. He is no friend of labor. Just look at the record. Instead of his rhetoric, look at the record. And let's not fall for the okie doke. <laughs> Seriously, he encouraged automakers to move their plants out of Michigan so he could pay, they could pay their workers less. Understand what that was about. So they could pay their workers less. And when the UAW went on strike to demand the higher wages they deserved, Donald Trump went to a non-union shop and attacked the UAW. And he said, he said, striking and collective bargaining don't make, quote, a damn bit of sense. A damn bit of difference is what he said exactly. That it doesn't make a, quote, pardon my language, a damn bit of difference is what he said. <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> so Michigan, you know better. Strong unions mean higher wages, better health care, and greater dignity for union members and for everyone, whether or not you are part of a union. Get that straight. Get that straight. Which is why, when I am president, I will sign the PRO Act into law and make it easier for workers to join a union and negotiate for better pay and working conditions. And now, Donald Trump is making the same empty promises to the people of Michigan that he did before, hoping hoping you will forget how he let you down the last time. But we will not be fooled. 